Hey, welcome back to Frank's Favorite Foods where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. Today I'm making an old school Maryland classic. This is Crab Imperial. If you're not a subscriber, you should be. Go ahead and hit that red button and the notifications bell. That way you won't miss anything. I'm using a can of pasteurized Phillips Super Lump crab meat for today's recipe. Fresh crab meat is nearly impossible to find down here in South Florida, so I'm using the next best thing. As you can see, the Super Lump is a really beautiful crab meat and a little less expensive than the Jumbo Lump. Once you've opened the can, you want to gently squeeze out all of the remaining liquid. This recipe calls for two tablespoons of freshly minced parsley. Next, we're gonna make the imperial sauce mix. Start with one and a half cups of mayonnaise. Next, add a tablespoon and a half of Dijon mustard one tablespoon of Worcestershire, one half teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. You'll need one teaspoon of celery salt. This is an essential ingredient. It cannot be replaced with celery seed or regular salt. Just go buy the celery salt. Now whisk all those ingredients together. Next, put your drained crab meat in a bowl with the two tablespoons of minced parsley. I'm gonna add about two thirds cup of the imperial mix. I'll probably end up using about a cup of the mix, but you don't wanna to put too much in initially because you can't take it back out. Notice that I'm just sort of dropping the crab mixture into the bowl. I'm not going to pack it in tightly because you want it to heat through easily. And because the crab meat mounded up like that just looks really good. You should have about one third of the imperial sauce left. I'm using the squeeze bottle to put a nice layer on top, but I'm a trained professional. You should probably use a spoon. I'm just kidding. I'm actually still working on my squeeze bottle certification. Lastly, before we put this in the oven, we're gonna put on a little bit of paprika. That will ensure a nice golden brown topping. If you put your Crab Imperial in a 400 degree oven for about 12 minutes, you'll end up with something that looks like this. Oh my God, that looks good. So this is Christmas dinner here in the Hawkins household. And as always, I want you to know how much I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe and notifications button. That way you won't miss a thing. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.